Hello and welcome to round one of the Alpha Games Prime with me Rebecca Walker joined as always by Richard Walker. It me. It you. And it me. What? I'm so sorry about the wonkiness of the screen. Oh my god what what you've you've messed this right up. Oh I was in a rush. The first game and you messed it right up. But it's me. Who's this chump you're playing? Oh, I don't know. I think he won some big tournament or something. Ah, Wambot. Wambot 3000. Excellent. So you're playing <laughs> Whammer. Oh, you've lost this then. Yeah, that was my thought going in. <laughs> and you've set up no... Oh, you have set up economy. Oh, yeah, it's down. It's down. It's, it's, it's kind of hidden in the corner because the camera's a little bit wonky. <laughs> so in my defence, in my defence, the round has started like really quickly and like I didn't have time to choose someone to to put on camera so I just I was like oh, okay I'll put me on camera and and then I didn't line it up properly and then I was against Whammer and I was like oh it's Whammer and you done yeah, yeah I'm done. cool so you're playing Stark Crossing and James is playing Stark Valyrian Steel yeah it has a nice setup actually you've got a duplicated Daisy and a small John and a heart tree grove and that's not even a euphemism <laughs> And uh, you have Bran and Great John with an old gate. Yeah. So uh, well, I'm a small John is bigger than my Great John. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. No? Great, great John bigger. Oh, yeah, you're stronger. You've got a stronger small John. <laughs> yeah, that. Um, so I've played Bran the Gates. Well, I've played at the Gates. All the Gates. All the Gates. I did say to Wama, oh, I don't think this plot's going to do much, so I thought I'd open up with it. And one was like, yeah, I need to play Prince who came too late. <laughs> I was like, I wish you had. But, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's well, cool. that was lucky for him then. Mm. Or maybe he read that you'd play bar in turn one. You're the sort of girl that would play bar in turn one because you're, you're anti-fun. <laughs> yeah, it seems like you. I mean, I did marry you. Wow. Well, you started it. <laughs> So, yeah, um, the good thing with you opening barring the gates is you're quite likely to win initiative. Mm. And with the Great John on the board, perhaps you'd like to go first to, you know, scare some of those guys down. Yep, that was totally my thinking. It was deliberate to win initiative. Was it deliberate? That. Yep, totes. So you're going to get sick gold. I'm not sure what you're going to spend it on, but it'll be fun to find out. You need a green icon for your crossing challenge. I do need a green icon. And James is going to have quite a bit of economy, plus his agenda, assuming he can find attachment. Yeah, I mean, he's um, he's very, uh, you know, selfishly grabbed himself an old gate there rather than getting a uh, gate to the moon. But, you know, I guess, I'm, I guess I'll let him off. Wow, what a bellend. <laughs> um, so, my marshalling then. Um, as... People who have watched me in these games or heard me commentating before probably know I'm not the best at math, so I'm just going to apologise in advance for um, the occasion where I have to spend slightly longer than normal people in mathing I mean, the video. even you can count to six. Yes. And subtract from six. Yes. But, for example, passing the black gate might affect the numbers... And any other econ I might have in hand. But right. they're still singular digits. <laughs> Excellent. So we have... Oh, a pass in the black gate. That's a surprise. surprise. <laughs> I think it's fairly unlikely James won't be running hand judgment. I say fairly because Valyrian Steel Deck generally don't run many events. And so you have to be really concerned about something to run hand judgment, right? Yeah, but I I wasn't sure, so I forgot to wait. So yeah. I played a King's Road. I've also got Pass on the Black Gate. So a reduction of four so far. Yeah. And you're using it all for Cat. Yeah. Excellent. And then spending five on Robert. Wow. So not actually the explosion of Chud that I expected. Yeah. So I expected you to pay one for Bear Island Scout, get a Bear Island Scout, pay one for that Bear Island Scout, get another Bear Island Scout, pay two for Alice Sane well, or I'm She Bear. Well, I'm really sorry to disappoint. Actually, She Bear is a really bad choice for this plot, so let's she, forget yeah. that. <laughs> well, I wanted Cat out because I needed the Intrigue icon, and I wanted Rob out just because it's Rob. Um, and I thought, against Whammer, I need to be as quick as I possibly can. What has Wham played? Um, 
Wama has played a card. Why did you put it in a location where they're clear? Um, because I was in a rush. It might be Sansa. It's, it's cat. cat. <laughs> there you go. See, easy. And What's the attachment? It's a bodyguard. Excellent. And he's just considering what to trigger for Valyrian still. Oh, this is me panicking that I hadn't actually turned the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smiling about it. Oh. Winterfell. Win That's annoying. Winter hell. Mm. Especially as I forgot that my plot was a uh, <laughs> was a winter plot. <laughs> so yeah, I may or may not um, spend the turn considering how best to do my challenges, considering that Great John wouldn't be able to restand because of winter fell. <laughs> You are a dork. I am a total dork. I am aware of this. Well, you wasn't aware of it at the time. Well, I'm a dork. Yeah. No, I think I've I've always uh, <laughs> had the understanding. <laughs> That's why I had to lower my standards for you, honey. Makes sense. <laughs> Seems legit. I know I couldn't get any better being the dork that I am. That is very true. So I've gone for the intrigue first. I figure if. Wama defends it, then um, it means he's not doing an intrigue challenge back. If he doesn't defend it, I get an unopposed and claim. So either seems good. Are you thinking about choosing Bran for claim if he does a military against you? To stand your board with Robert? Um, Possibly. Cause, I mean, you're not going to worry about him kneeling Winterfell on an offensive military challenge, are you? No, no, I wasn't worried about that. I totally didn't forget that Winterfell wouldn't do anything. <laughs> Power, be good. Yeah. Um, now, bizarrely, well, I, I felt, um, when I defended with both, he wanted the renown, which is obviously absolutely fine, um, but it did make my decision now a lot easier. <laughs> um, so I went for the military with Rob, um, I figure I don't need Great John in this challenge and I might as well get the Renown and Rob, so I'll get Unopposed um, and Crossing and Renown and obviously Claim as well. So yeah, so I was a lot, I was a lot less worried about my um, challenges when Wamma had now at his board. And I also got Dom with the Great John. Oh. Great <laughs> yeah, girl, was quite good. And then Wama was like, "Oh yeah, your plot would mean that he would, you know, be able to stand anyway." And I was like, "Oh great, yeah." <laughs> Lol. Yeah. Sweet. So you're winning. I know. Against the great James. Yeah. But you know, Wama's just uh, <laughs> going easy on me. <laughs> what did you just say? Just going easy on me. Just you know. Lulling me into a false sense of security. <laughs> yeah, probably. James is, is very lenient like that. He does play down to you. He thinks you're weak. <laughs> so that's clearly what he's doing. Yeah. That's why he smashed me in the Nationals final. <laughs> so I've gone for Heads on Spikes into Time for Wolves. Heads um, on Spike. That's an interesting plot to play. That crossing, I've not seen it. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. I think Winter Festival were quite common. Yeah, I was tempted by Winter Festival, but so my my logic being Winter Festival is if I hit a summer plot, I'm not getting anything out of it. But with heads and spikes, even if I miss, it's still a card claim. Like I'm still getting a card out of their hand. So you're trading a card for an extra gold and yeah. maybe two power. Yeah. Well both of the plots are maybe two power. And then one of them is also a card out of hand, and the other one is an extra gold. So, yeah. And with heads, I've got potential of killing an important character. And you've got initiative with heads on bikes. Hmm. So there is that as well. So there is logic to my madness. Although Winter Festival would have been better against Winter Fowl, obviously. So oh. I was thinking at this point, I made um, Wama go first. Um, but my logic being, if I hit a character in um, Wama's hand, and it was a small character, he could place, he could get Summer, 
and then use summer to get the small character back to um, back to hand. So I made Wama go first, um, thinking that you know if he puts out a summer or whatever, fine. Um, but he's gone for Nymeria the attachment. Um, afterwards, I realised he could have put Nymeria in his hand to make um, to like dilute his hand a little bit. Um, he could, yeah, but he didn't. Um, he went for the attachment into play because it of course triggers his agenda. So triggering Valyrian still to draw an extra card. Um, it was after the game I found out he had two robs in hand. And the card that he drew was a rob. And I managed to hit literally the most insignificant card that I could have probably hit in this game as I don't run anything that can be frozen solid. <laughs> you do. Oh, I do. Sorry. Well, I didn't. I don't think I played them. What are they called? Northern um, Armoury. Thank you for that. Mid-yawn, Richard indicated his arms. I knew it was Armoury. <laughs> Rather than Northern Keep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, three robs in hand, eh? Three robs? Hmm. You said he had two robs and just drew a rob. Oh, did he just draw another rob? That's what you said. No, he drew a rob off the flue and steel. Uh, so he had a rob and then drew another one off of flue and steel. Uh, oh, you're going to pass the black gate again. I am. Going to get a few more out this time, though. Oh, three? Yeah. Almost three. <laughs> Drawing some more cards. Oh, I like that. That's a nice little combo. Those unbeloyalists passing the gate. Fuel themselves a little bit. Yeah. Which means your next plot is going to be returned to the fields, right? Of course. Oh yeah, Wama got a bit confused about how I paid for stuff. Ah! Why, man? But why, man? Now, Wyman and Rob on the board is an instant headache for, for James. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful headache for James. It's an instant headache for basically everyone. Apart from the player. Actually, no. It was a headache for me as well. It is, if you try and do it in a challenge. Because, of course, Jane can Winterfell when you most want to do it. Yeah. But, of course, you can just do it in between challenges. You can kneel your board out, then trick a Wyman down the entire board, presuming Jane does not have a counter to that. Nightmares would be sad. Nightmares would be sad. We'd have a Sans on the broad. Broad? We've got a Sans on the broad. Sans on a broad? <laughs> wow, that same song of some sort of little finger brothel scene there. <laughs> A Sansa on the board and a Bran. Bran, no more path in the Black Gate for you, Rebecca. I know. Sad times. Sad times, maybe only for you. Look, <laughs> you're doing a talking. I know. I feel really self conscious that you can just see my face throughout the entire thing. You, you can just see me getting steadily more um, perplexed throughout the game. <laughs> my, my frown lines, I'm sure, grow about an inch through the game. <laughs> yeah, but if the camera was proper, like you'd, you'd cut yourself out. Yes, I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware that I fucked up with the camera angle. <laughs> we can't even see James's face. I know. I know. I'm Is sorry. Is it because you're quite short as well? I th yeah, I, I genuinely, when I've recorded games and I'm in it before, I find that you normally see quite a bit of me and not so much of the other person. I think it's just because I'm shorter, so I'm lower down on the camera. <laughs> Here we go, frown lines coming in. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm trying to math, and there's Winterfell. But you go with what you know, and what you know is an early entry challenge with Cap. Yeah. So James can now not trigger anything. Was that a specific ploy? Or do you just want to do an Intrigue with Cat instead of Y-Man? Um, it was, I just wanted to do the Intrigue with Cat because I'd like to be able to use um, Great John twice if possible to get two Intimidates off. Um, if possible, I'd like to use Rob twice um, to get the uh, Double Renown on him. So I'm trying to math out how I can do, like, all three challenges and get double an hour and rob and double intimidate with um great john all right so basically you do military with everyone now and then trigger one to stand everybody all the way around and there okay 
Uh, I, I sought the military um, to maybe force James to trigger Winterfell to stop the Great John from restanding. Um, he's triggering it here in case I've got superior claim. Makes sense. Although he could have just defended with Cat. I was thinking about Cat. So he's just chump blocking the Bran. I can't react with anything, but I can get the Renown. Um, and Intimidate. Um, so with, with the Intimidate, if I can Intimidate Cat, then it means that Wama's not going to do an entry challenge back. Um, well, you can do two challenges, right? Because you can... Trigger Wyman to sack a child down the board and mm -hmm. then go in with the military, intimidating a second character. That is so the I intention. think you want to intimidate Daisy and probably Cat. Yeah, so um, with hindsight, probably intimidating Daisy or Small John is best. But I decide to go for Cat just in case for some reason I can't intimidate again. Yeah, see, I would have. I think I'd pick um, Daisy because because Daisy got intimidated, so making sure she's not seen good. Mm. And not only that, your your last challenge is military, and it's easier to win if a military character is now. Yeah, I mean I can definitely win the military anyway because I've got crossing now. Yeah, but now you have to sort of um, commit an extra body. Yeah, yeah. So like you say, I probably should have put. Um, Daisy or uh, the Small John down. Um, yeah, because Daisy's six strengths now. Small John is also six strengths, I think. Yeah, I think they were the same. So but going, either way, Daisy's going down. So you've got a military for 13 plus 6, that's 19. You do that math so quickly. I spent so long every challenge trying to math how much everything was. <laughs> hmm. This this is the kind of start that I like. The board control kind of start with intimidates. Hmm. You know, I, I quite like that. That's why I like the dog so much because you had Nymeria and Grey Wind and the Roaming Wolf Packs all with intimidate along with Great John. Yeah. You know, and it, controlling the board and, and back in... 2018, there weren't too many decks that just tried to run rampant with Intimidate and go first. I quite like that. Mm. So I'm going to go then opposed. Um, I do this in slightly the wrong order. It should be crossing and then reactions. Yeah, crossing's like a passive. Yeah. So crossing and then reaction and opposed military claim. It's going to be Bran. And renown on Rob, and then um, so I was considering which one to intimidate here. Um, and Wama made the very well, very kindly pointed out that it's better to intimidate Daisy because she's duped, so if she gets power on her. Um, it's, it's more safer. likely to stick around. Yeah. So it's very kind of Wama to point that out. <laughs> um, and yeah, actually made a lot of sense um, when he said it. He's educating you as well. He did. He did. What a nice man. I know. I don't care what you say about Wama. I think he's an acceptable human being. He is acceptable. <laughs> and then Wama does the military with the small John. I just block it with the great John. I should have let that go through and opposed, because um, that way I would have a power to steal um, on the next turn. But I did not, so... Um, and then Wama thought it would be hilarious to move Nymeria across so that he can intimidate Bran. <laughs> what? How rude. Yeah. So yeah, Renown on Small John intimidating Bran. And then my Dom. The big difference in this game is you have Wyman and Wob. Yes. Wyman doesn't. He has good characters, but they're not Wyman and Wob in terms of synergy. Mm. Yeah, as you say, it's, it's the combination of Wyman and Wob together. And this is the problem I had at Star Lake um, when I played Dark Blue and Steel. Basically, you want Wyman and Wyman and or Rob straight away. Mm. As soon as you can get them. And that's much more likely in a 60-card deck. It's a lot less likely in a 75-card deck. And although you're playing some good characters and putting some good attachments on them, making them better, they still don't have the Wyman and Rob synergy, which is just really good. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was I was lucky to have Wyman and Rob on the board from so early on. Um, I don't know what kind of reset Wyman's running, um, but Valda Hyrus would be horrible. <laughs> it would um, hurt, but he doesn't play it. Yeah, um, so expecting reset, I've gone for a return to the fields. Well, that's a really good time to play if you're playing to Harris, because you can say Small, John, Daisy and Sansa. Mm. Whereas you have to get rid of a significant chunk of your characters. Yeah, I think I'd probably keep probably like Rob and Cat. Not great, John, on the loyalist brand. Well, Rob's got three power on him. Mm. And intrigue icons are a little bit harder to come by in my deck. So, I mean, I think Cat and Wyman are the main ones, and then I think Sansa as well. Mm. Yep, That's true. About... And Scepter. And Arya with Scepter out. Yeah. If, if and you... Osha. Oh, and right. Will. Oh, right. Oh, Ow. right. <laughs> They're harder to come by than other icons. There we go. So, uh, Wyman's got his own rob on the board now. Sacrificing Sansa for it, I think. Sansa. Yeah. Now it's going to be the Battle of Wobs. Mm. Thing is, though, Wama's got the Winterfell. So all of his characters are already stronger than mine. This is true. Now who are you going to return to the field? Um. Not the Umberloyalist, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Nothing. Why are you chuckling in that nervous manner? No reason. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. Discard two cards to get one back. I get two back. Why men in return? Do mm. not fan. You basically sacrifice the board. To do what? Well, I think I think I had, hand. yeah, I think I had like not great cards in hand, um, and I think I just wanted more options. I think I was searching for something. I can't remember what I was searching for. <laughs> so I'm you get rid of the Northern Armouries. You're bonkers. I don't like them. <laughs> you could damn rob multiple times. Hmm. Get renowns. Anyway, <laughs> off to Goldtown. <laughs> Intrigue icons are hard to come by. <laughs> That's why there's off to Gold Town. <laughs> I think I needed the gold for something as well. I can't remember now though. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm a bad player, right? I know that. <laughs> I hope you beat your James now. <laughs> I'm a bad player, but I beat James. That'd oh, be funny. <laughs> <sighs> so anyway. <laughs> uh Hartree Grove. Yeah. <laughs> um and using it and paying lots for Adard. Wow. Now you really are begging to be reset. Sure. Yeah, You're know. almost literally saying James reset me. No. I mean Morgulis hurts you but not magnificently so, because you keep Grey John and Cat. Mm. Although all your other main characters oh. are dead, and actually now rob, rob, rob. it would hurt you because uh, James keeps an equal amount of characters. Yeah, he'd keep Rob and Daisy. He'd keep even our own characters. Mm. He'd lose uh, Small John, but I don't think he's a key cog in the wheel. Samir. Yep. Can you get back whatever that card was? I think it was Bran. I think it was Bran as well. Would you play him out? He is. Yep, gonna get insight now. And also, um, he's seen me discard enough to gold town um, and save gold, so he might be concerned that I've got <laughs> mats in hand. Yeah. Yeah. So, Jane didn't marshal any more attachments. Which I'm sure is going to be quite sad for him because his deck is about marshalling attachment. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't get any of that going on. No. Bit sad for Whammer. Bit sad for Whammer. 
Yeah, no, I can see your face doing math. <laughs> your eyes are darting around. I know. But so the problem I have is like, I'll add up all the numbers and then it'll be like, right, so this is how much he's got for power. And then I'll start adding up my power and then I've forgotten the power number I said for the other person. Jesus Christ. And then like, I'll want to know like the power totals and military totals and the intrigue totals for both sides. And of course, that many numbers, they all just disappear like two numbers in. See, I don't think of it like that when I, when I play um, Cossing. I think of it as which challenge don't I really care about? I'll do that first. Yeah, but I... And then which challenge do I actually want to win? Power. Like, can I win the power challenge as my last challenge with all the strength but against whatever they've got? Yes. Cool. Let's just do challenges. Okay, so my thinking was I might be able to win this turn. Because I've got Eddard... Superior claim? No, because I've got... If I can use... Basically, if I can get Renown on Eddard twice, Renown on Rob twice, plus Eddard's reaction twice, that's six power. Wow. So I was trying to figure out a way of being able to do both the military and the power and win both. Yeah, I wouldn't bother with that shit. All right. He's got too many characters. I know. He's got a lot of characters. He's got friggin' Daisy, who's on eight strength. This is why my math is slow. <laughs> you just have to pick or choose. <sighs> but I was formulating a plan. Right, I mean, I'm waiting. Well, I, it, I'm a bit slower at formulating plans than others. <laughs> you're right, it looks like you just stopped playing and you're just going to admire James' cards. <laughs> wow, that's an awesome daisy you have there. Nice full bleed cat. I'm just going to admire it. Oh, look at that old art Winterfell. That's amazing. So I'm just going to go for my, my standard. <laughs> All that math for oh, bloody intrigue for three strength. Shut up. <laughs> Christ. I'm surprised your opponents don't brain you. Yeah, but I just smell nicely at them, and then they, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Well, I just smell nicely at them. <laughs> You're gonna smell at them. <laughs> Although I'm definitely not smiling nicely at Wamma here. I'm just looking extremely confused and concerned. Eyes flitting everywhere, trying to calculate. God, I hate math. Well, James can do an intrigue. So he's let it go unopposed, which is really annoying because I was having any nails something out and make my math easier. Well, the issue here is you're going to have to do a, a military challenge. Mm. And the James has characters he's not that bothered about. Yeah, I know. He doesn't have any power to take either. No. So, I mean, he could have used Cat there. Maybe he's going to use Cat in the power challenge. He may think that you're not going to do the military challenge. If that's the case, he won't want to kneel his board out. Mm. In case you don't do the military and don't give him the trigger that he needs. Because he has no other way of, uh, no visible way of making a sacrifice to trigger Rob. Yep. So it's all dependent on you. I don't know. And you're looking frowny. That's Check out them frown lines. I'm trying to math, all right? <laughs> you almost look like you're crying. I get frustrated when the numbers don't stay straight in my head. You know what you need to do? What? Play Hollow Hill. Why? Because it's a reset deck. Like, well, the most math you have to do is three beats, zero. Cool. I win that on the post. <laughs> well, it's not that like I can't win something, but I want to win both. Greedy. Well, if I win both, I win. Yeah, but you don't need to win now. Yeah, but one might play Vowels of Harris next turn. <laughs> okay, so I'm going off to Gold Town on Wyman. Wow, that's interesting. Why, 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 uh, yeah, that. Because if I play it on Wyman, then um, I think I can win the military, or at least make the military a lot more difficult, like a lot more important. I oh, know, I just dropped the card like five times. Um, and I was also trying to tempt Wyman to get rid of the Bran because it means that I would have he would have two less power towards like the power challenge oh. um, so I've gone in for the military no Nedar trigger for you 
Yeah, so he's now Winterfell to stop the Eddard trigger and also to stop um, Great John. So I win the challenge, um, so I get the two renown and the claim. And intimidate. Yeah, and that was what I was also after, because so if I could intimidate. So you want to intimidate Cat, right? Sure. Or Daisy? Well, my thinking for Cat is you could trigger Ned if Cat's not. It doesn't matter because this is my crossing challenge, so I'll get crossing renown renown. Yeah, I guess that's true. Are you gonna win? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, I won the game! But you're a bad player! Look how excited I was! <laughs> you were really excited. I literally clapped my hands and knocked my cards on the floor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't believe Wamma lost to a bad player like you. Oh, piss off! Hey, they're your own words. I am, well, I'm not the best player. I'm definitely not as good a player as Whammer is. You did but really I well. I won the game! Well done. Do you think I did good on the calculating at the end? You calculated. I did. It took a little while, but I calculated. I'm sorry, Whammer, that I took so long calculating. <laughs> I'm sure he was magnanimous enough to... Uh, you won that quite quickly, actually. Half an hour. Thank you. That's, that's quicker than it felt. It felt like two hours. Hey! But, just, you know, appreciate my, my, well done. my amazing game. Well play. done on your win. Thank you, darling. Excellent. I won my game. I'm looking forward to game two. Yeah. But well done on your win. Commiserations <laughs> on your last Whammer. Good start to the tournament. Um, nice map though. <laughs> and um, we'll be back for round two where Richard is playing Running Man Paul. And uh, we've got Martel Crossing versus Tar Crossing. Yes. Yeah, so another relatively quick game, which is nice. Makes it easier to commentate and edit. Excellent. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you for round two. Thanks so always for watching. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by going to patreon.com forward slash the And we will see you next time. Sweet. Bye. Bye.